We've got some breaking news out of St. Petersburg, Florida. That's just about half an hour's drive from Tampa. Officials now say that their fire team has rescued more than 75 people. Remember, the warning was if you're in one of those zones that was prone to flooding, get out, but not everybody does. So those 75 people were from areas, obviously, with the most severe flooding. The government shared this video on Twitter of emergency officials moving through floodwaters in a boat as the rain pours down around them, risking their own safety to bring others to safety. Joining me by phone is Adrian Petrilla, mayor of St. Pete Beach. That's on the barrier island west of St. Petersburg, and that is one of the areas in the mandatory evacuation zone. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. What do you know about the safety of your residents? Did most people leave? Are you doing rescues? Give us an update. Yeah, for the most part, most of our residents left. Uh, we're in evacuation zone A, uh, which is you know, the highest um, uh, highest risk for, for flooding. And we had severe flooding here with the surge of about four to five feet. Um, so most of our residents, from what I can tell, did evacuate. Is that about what you expected? What are you doing to deal with it right now? Is it just a matter, frankly, of waiting until it's safe enough to go out and do assessments? Yeah, so we actually have a meeting in about an hour or so to go citywide with our fire department and uh, public works to see what the situation looks like. And then we'll be coordinating with, with the Pinellas County Sheriff to see about reopening the island sometime maybe this uh, late evening, sorry, early evening or late afternoon. We actually talked to the Pinellas County Sheriff, uh, uh, and he said this is what he saw when he was out today. Let me play that for you. And I've been out there personally, and I can tell you it's not a good situation on the Gulf beaches. We're going to have to shut down, and we have shut down and keep shut down, uh, access to all of the barrier islands. We haven't seen the worst of it. Uh, the estimates are, based upon the storm surge and based upon the high tide, that we're going to see four to six feet of water. Uh, that's a significant amount of water. Uh, the sand is also coming up onto the roadway. And again, as I said, I was out there personally and had to turn around. How long, Mayor, do you expect dangerous conditions to last? Um, we anticipate that most of the storm surge should have passed by now. From what we can see, the roads are starting to clear up. But again, until we get the all clear from the sheriff, we make sure that there's no more hazards on the road, make sure that all the waters are free and clear on the roads. Um, we're going to ask residents, and we've been asking residents to stay off the roads for the time being until we get the all clear. Do you have a sense of how long that might be? I know how people are anxious. I know how people want to see how their homes fared. It's very hard sometimes to get that message out to them. What's the most detail you can give those folks right now? Well, our next meeting is going to be at 3.30 at the Emergency Operations Center, where we're going to be assessing the city as a whole. And then we're going to make a determination based on, on what we find at that time. So Thank we're going to ask everyone to just stay, stay put, be patient. I know they all want to come home, uh, but until it's safe to do so. St. Pete Beach, uh, Florida Mayor Adrian Petrilla, good luck to all of you.